what's up everybody and welcome to recap tv in this video we will be discussing the transformation of cleveland ohio rapper kamara williams Kamar Williams, known by the rap name Q Money, was born December 1995. He lived in the Park Place apartment complex on East Boulevard and East 105th Street. His parents divorced before he was born, but he did grow up with both his mother and his father in his life. He notes that his father was also a rapper who went by the name J Bone. Q Money will often seek his father's approval and hold his opinion regarding his raps to a high standard. He states that his mother did what she could, but he wanted more, which led him to his decision to start hustling. During school age, Q Money took piano lessons and participated in his school's band. He attended several high schools before graduating in 2015, and in 2016, he made his musical debut, using SoundCloud and social media to build a fan base. His earlier projects would get few thousand views and plays, but he continued to put in work. In 2017, he went on to release his most successful song at that time, titled Work. This song would lead to his record deal with Think It's a Game. I just signed my first motherfucking deal to Mason. Warner Brothers is going. Hey! Hey, hey, got wild dudes with me. Got little bro with me. Got pop with me. Got my cameraman with me. He's cool. A few months later, after signing his deal, he had a video shoot in Cleveland where a fight broke out and ended with seven people getting shot, including three in critical condition. No violence at all. I'm 40 kids. I got to dance. And you know, the thing that happened, that was an uncontrollable situation. Two ladies got into a fight. I mean, that would have happened if I would have shot the video or if I didn't shoot the video. Uh, during the time, I wasn't on the scene. Uh, I heard about it, and I'm sorry to all the families that was affected by it. After the music video incident, he was arrested for drug trafficking and sentenced to 30 days in jail, causing him to miss the birth of his son. While on lockdown, he would be encouraged by the positive feedback he received from other inmates about his music, causing him to leave the drug trade. In an effort to turn his life around, once released from jail, he worked as a lifeguard. This was short-lived due to the success he would quickly obtain with his single work, which as of today has around 13 million views on YouTube. In 2018, he released hit songs like Neat and Better Than Me. The video for the Neat remix has over 17 million views and the audio for Better Than Me has almost 4 million views. Unfortunately, Trouble would soon follow Q Money's musical success. In April of 2019, he was arrested for the shooting death of rapper Calvin Alexander Chapel while he slept. It's Q Money, he's being charged with felony murder, accused of shooting a fellow musician, Calvin Chappelle, at a home in Decatur on Monday. A warrant was issued for Williams' arrest that same day. A witness claims he saw Q Money standing over his dead roommate with a gun. The witness woke up his cousin and the two wrestled the gun from Kamar, forcing him out the door. Many people that knew Q Money were shocked by the allegations, stating that he may have had a temper, but they never knew him to be violent. Not disrespected, not disrespected, copacetic, everything motivated, everything athletic when it comes to You know what I'm saying? Everything athletic, man. Easy you know. You don't want to respect the game, so the game backfire and bite your ass. You know what I'm saying? The backfire and it bites your ass, then the game does. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) 
Kamara and Calvin knew each other as they were both rappers from Cleveland, Ohio, and made their way to Atlanta, Georgia. The night before the incident, Chapel, Williams, and several of their friends went out to a nightclub. Everyone returned around 5 a.m. Chapel went to sleep and cue money went to get food, but returned around 6 a.m. The shooting was caught on surveillance. Williams walked up to Chapel, who was laying on an air mattress, and shot him more than six times. Upon investigation, it was determined that Williams tried to shoot and disable the camera before he shot Chapel. He also called one of his friends later that same day and asked him to delete the video. He turned himself in on September 2019. Money's family claimed that he acted in self-defense. They released a statement stating, First, we would like to send our deepest condolences to the Chapel family at this unfortunate time of loss. We were very familiar with Calvin Alexander Chapel in his younger years with our son. He was a kind young man with a bright future as a singing, recording artist. Our son, Kamar, was focused on bringing positive energy through his music. He started his career from the ground up and does not promote violence or portray the use of guns in any of his visuals that he releases. His rapid rise to stardom fueled his ambitions to continue to work hard to get his career to the next level until he had reached the goals that he had set for himself. Kamar loves his son, his family, and his craft. He has shown perseverance to eventually have become the next biggest artist ever. At the recent tragic loss of Nipsey Hussle, all artists are finding themselves thinking about what would they do if placed in a predicament that they would have to protect their lives if it were being threatened due to being a celebrity. We feel Kamar was a victim in this situation as well due to his life being completely being altered behind this event. Kamar is an energetic, enthusiastic young man and he has no malice in his heart for anyone. As the facts and evidence continue to become available, we are sure that they will show that Kamar acted in self-defense from feeling as though his life was at risk and being threatened. We are deeply saddened by the way the information that has been released portrays the night in question. We are here 100% to support our son Kamar. On April 18, 2019, Kamar turned himself in to the Atlanta DeKalb County Police for further review of this case. We are praying for the Chapel family and we ask that you keep our family in your prayers as well. We look forward to a positive outcome for our son, Kamar Q. Money Williams. Before his trial was set to begin, Q. Money said, God is real good. Y'all better stay tuned. He also said, whoever counted me out can't count. In September 2022, Q-Money was found guilty of murder for fatal shooting of Calvin Alexander. Kamar was charged with malice murder, two counts of felony murder, aggravated assault, possession of a firearm during the commission of a felony, and sentenced to 55 years, and the motive is still unknown. Since his conviction, Q-Money has spoken out he said, they pray on my downfall. I just want my story to be heard. Q-Money's career ending in this way is disheartening because he was on his way up. He was starting a new wave with his dancing, beats, and lyrics. He was quickly gaining momentum, all for an abrupt halt to occur before he could really make his mark in the music industry. Thanks so much guys for watching this video. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye.